guys, so as the title suggests, this is going to be a drugstore favorites video because I've been on such a drugstore kick. You can see I have a box full of drugstore products and I don't know, I feel like there are so many innovative and great products on the drugstore. You know, sometimes you go into the drugstore and there is such an overwhelming amount of products, you just don't know what to buy. This is basically me telling you guys what, in my opinion, are the best products on the drugstore from what I've tried. So my favorite base product that I wear every single time I wear makeup is Gauche BB Cream. It says it's foundation, primer, moisturizer, all in one. It has SPF 15 and I love the texture of it. I have it in color number one, sand. I love it because it's so fair. I feel like it's it's, you know, it's getting easier to find paler products on the drugstore, but still, you know, I'm so pale, I'm go ghostly white. Um, this is pale enough for me and I love the texture of it, the coverage, it offers just the right amount of coverage. It makes your skin look so healthy, not oily, not matte, just amazing. It looks like you don't have makeup on. I'm yet to find concealer for spots in the drugstore. They just don't work, so I stick to my MAC concealer for spots. But for under eyes, this is my favorite. It's L'Oreal Lumi Magique. It's like a highlighting pen, you know, like Touche Chocolat from Yves Saint Laurent. It just brightens your under eyes and um, I don't know, it makes you look glowy and I really love it. Rimmel Stay Matte, again, it's my second one already. It's such a nice powder. It's very simple, it says long-lasting press powder. It really is long-lasting. It's very light, almost translucent powder. I have it in the number one, transparent. So it's like the palest color. I highly recommend this powder for everyday use. Moving on to cheeks, I have only one bronzer and it's the one I currently have on my face. It's Maybelline Fit Me Bronzer. I don't know, I haven't seen it in Lithuania yet. I was sent this. So I'm not sure where you can find it. Maybe on Feel Unique they will have this. Um, but it's just a matte bronzer. It's like a warm toned matte bronzer. It's very, very pale in, in number 100. It has a mirror. And it just looks so natural as you can see. It just gives some color to my face, gives some definition. I take a big fluffy brush and apply it basically on the outer perimeters of my face and it just makes me look healthier so I love this bronzer then I have three different blushes I have this one from L'Oreal which could be a dupe for um, NARS blush in Duceur, which I love and this is nude pink so it looks like that and it's just kind of like a dusty pink color kind of mauvey pink yeah really pretty color for fall and uh, winter. I wouldn't really wear it in the summertime. It's more, you know, kind of like autumn um, blush. Another one is Rimmel. This is Santa Rose. This is an old packaging. It's so tiny. Look at that. I've had it for a while, so they have repackaged it. Now it's in kind of like a square package, but it is a very well loved blush. It's just like the prettiest everyday blush. It's like a pale, pale peachy pink. It's so beautiful and natural looking. Um, if you don't like anything too bright, too pink or too obvious, this is a great one to have. It's kind of like a staple blush to have, I think, from the drugstore. Another one of my favorites, even the writing has rubbed off. You cannot see the shade number, um, shade name, but this Bourjois Cream Blush in Nude Velvet. I really love the packaging of it. It opens up I don't know, I like how it opens up fully, it has a tiny mirror and it's a cream blush. Again, a very beautiful peachy pink color, it's so flattering, it's just gorgeous color and the texture of it, it is a cream blush and even though I have oily skin, uh, I was kind of skeptical but it is matte, it is kind of like a velvety blush. Once you apply it on your face, it dries into powdery finish, so it doesn't look too glowy or, you know, it's not gonna slide off your face. It's a really beautiful blush and I highly recommend it. <laughs> Maybelline color tattoo in Bad to the Bronze. I think every YouTuber has talked about this. I have it on my lids today um, so that you can see how it looks like. It's just a beautiful, bronze color. It's so easy to wear. Um, if you don't have time, you have to 
you know, get ready very quickly, you don't have time to do your eyeshadow, just take your finger, apply it really quickly, and it looks so beautiful, the color is fantastic. So you can wear it on its own like that, or you can, you know, use it as an eyeshadow base. Love, love, love this one. And I think that's all for my eyeshadows. I prefer higher end eyeshadows, so I would only recommend this one, um, you know, from what I've tried personally. But I do love drugstore mascaras. I think there are so many good... I, I don't even buy high-end mascaras because there are so many good ones on the drugstore. Um, so these are my favorites. I really love Maybelline mascaras and these are two of my favorites. This is Maybelline The Falsies. Um, I think this is the original one. So I love this. The brush looks like that. It's a little bit curved. And it just gives you very thick and long lashes. It can get a little bit clumpy if you layer it too much. Um, this one, if you don't like anything too clumpy and you like more of a natural look, I love this one. I didn't think I would, but I'm obsessed with this. It's Maybelline The Rocket. And the other one has natural bristles. This has a plasticky wand. And this is the mascara I have on my eyes today. It separates your lashes, it makes them look very kind of natural and long and nothing too clumpy, nothing too dramatic. This is a great lengthening everyday mascara, so I love that one. I love lengthening mascaras. I don't really like volume, I just need length to my lashes. So another one is L'Oreal Telescopic, just in the gold tube, and it has a very very tiny wand. I was sent this by Elle Fowler because um, I think it's her all-time favorite mascara, so she sent this to me when we did a swap. So I've had it for a long time, but it hasn't dried out still and I still use it. Um, yeah, this is really, really lengthening. It's such a great mascara, so I highly recommend this one. For eyeliners, I have uh, three Maybelline eyeliners. These ones are just, if you are looking for some color, you don't want to wear black or brown, these are great. They're Maybelline Colorama eyeliners. They're super inexpensive and these are my favorite colors. This one is a bronze one, but the names are very misleading. It says it's 400 Marvelous Maroon, even though it's a bronze color, it's not maroon. It's such a nice pencil. I like to add some definition sometimes on my um top lash line to, I don't know, kind of deepens up my eyes. And these colors are amazing if you have green eyes. It just really brings out green in your eyes. And this one is black gold, although it's a khaki color. It's like khaki, black, blackened khaki color. And then if you like a really thick black eyeliner, I would recommend this Maybelline Master Drama Cold Eyeliner, which in my opinion is a dupe for a YSL eyeliner. It's a very, very creamy black eyeliner, super dramatic. And uh, yeah, if you like your, you know, dramatic black eyeliner, I do recommend this one. And then for my eyebrows, another Maybelline product. This is my third one already. I go through these really quickly because I think it's such a tiny pencil. It's Master Shape Brow Pencil. I just got a new one. I love this eyebrow pencil. I have it in dark blonde. It's slightly waxy, it has a brush on the other side, so if you don't like waxy pencils, you may not like this, but it just, the color is so good for my eyebrows, it's like a taupey brow, not too dark, it looks so natural on your eyebrows, they stay in place because it's slightly waxy, love it. And then to set them in place, I love Gosh uh, Clear Eyebrow Gel. So, you know, it's just a simple eyebrow gel. Doesn't leave your brows white or crispy. Again, some Maybelline nail polishes. Colorama nail polishes are really nice. They have tons and tons of colors. The selection is just insane and they're really inexpensive. But these two are my favorites. This is uh, from Strip Nudes collection. Just like a dupe for Chanel Frenzy, kind of beige, grayish, kind of pale warm tone gray color. It's in um, 225. And then I have this one, which I get so many compliments on in real life, on YouTube, everywhere. This is such a gorgeous kind of like caramel color. It has some shimmer to it. 
it's really beautiful like a bronze or like caramel color looks gorgeous on your nails it's in 160 and then I really really like um, L'Oreal nail polishes these tiny little ones the packaging is really pretty in my opinion and again they have lots of beautiful colors you can see how well loved this one is I've been raving about this for a long time this is spicy orange a beautiful like um, orange red color this one is French Riviera perfect pale blue for the summertime and this is the one that I just got yesterday I am obsessed with this it's from the pale collection like the white whitish pastel color range this is peach neglige um, don't know how to pronounce that but it is insanely beautiful it's like a white it's like so pale it's a peach color but it's extremely pale it's almost white <laughs> My all-time favorite drugstore lipstick is Rimmel Notting Hill Nude from the Moisture Renew range. I talked about it so many times. It has to be one of my top five lipsticks of all times. It's like, a, again, like a caramel color. So, so beautiful. The formula is amazing. It's moisturizing. It's gorgeous on your lips. The one I have on my lips right now, I just got this one. It's incredible. I have to include this in drugstore favorites because these are amazing. They're the new L'Oreal Extraordinary Lip Lacquers. They're kind of like a mixture between a lip gloss and a lip balm. So this is in color 601 Nude Ballet. And this is what it looks like on my lips. It has a doe foot applicator and they're so comfortable on your lips they look so beautiful they smell really nice really peachy they have beautiful colors the texture everything is beautiful they don't last very long but i think they're worth it nonetheless i love these other two lip glosses i'm obsessed with are these uh, maybelline lip glosses in color sensational glosses i have it in cashmere rose which is a nice peachy pink color and coffee kiss which is one of my favorite lip products of all times again these are incredible formulas scents they just look beautiful on the lips they are non-sticky whatsoever this is non-sticky also so these are some of the nicest lip glosses ever i think um another lip gloss i really like is the art deco collagen lip booster and it doesn't really plump your lips, but it's kind of like a beautifying gloss without without much color. It just, I don't know, it just looks really pretty on your lips. Some of my all-time favorite lip balms, I don't know whether Caress is drugstore. I would consider it a drugstore brand. I've had five of them. I have four at the moment. And I really like Jasmine, um, which is kind of like a pale pink color. But my favorite is Guava. These are so moisturizing, so comfortable on your lips. Colors are beautiful, scents are incredible. Like these are the best lip balms in a pot for me. Um, so Guavo is my favorite. It's like a pale yellowish color, but it makes your lips glow. It just kind of brings out your lips, makes them very kind of plump and full looking. I love this in Guava. Then this is mango and it smells so good as you can imagine it's a nice kind of you know orangey color and then i really love pomegranate i think these two have to be my favorite i also have wild rose but it's more like a winter color pomegranate is a very nice kind of pink color natural pink i love to work it into my lips and it makes it look like you know it kind of stains your lips another one i really really love is their lip butter in vanilla and macadamia kiss the scent is just insane and again i'm running low on this and oh it smells so good like it's, it's such a creamy vanilla scent Oh, love it. It's extremely moisturizing. I love wearing it before sleeping. It makes your lips look really healthy and nourished and super soft. Um, if you have very chapped lips, this will save them. So yeah, guys, these are all of my drugstore favorites. I hope this video was helpful. These are some amazing products that I use pretty much on a daily basis. So yeah, I hope you liked the video and um, I will talk to you soon. Have a nice day. Bye.